Today here at E-Trailer, we're gonna be taking a look at the Rhinorack CXB clamp feet for your HD bars. If you're watching the video, you're probably wanting a roof rack that's gonna do the most out of all of the ones that we carry here at E-Trailer. So these are gonna get the job done. It's not gonna be like some of the other ones that we have, the arrow bars, the round bars, square bars. These are a lot thicker, so a lot of the wraparound accessories that you may have already might not work with this bar but this is mainly for some of the bigger stuff that you're hauling whether you're just hauling lumber or you're just a construction guy looking to get some stuff up on his on your roof but if you are maybe a tent guy it's gonna be great for the tents as it has a 220 pound capacity super super beefy and it is going to work with your C channel accessories don't get that confused with T slot this is only going to be accepting the C channel accessories that we have on our website. As far as dimensions go, we are gonna have about two inches from the bottom to the top with height, and that is just taking into consideration this little rubber strip right here. So just for your wraparound accessories, make sure it's gonna be able to go all the way around that. And then the width is gonna be about one and five eighths of an inch. It does come in silver as you see here, but if you like the color black more, we do have them in black as well. These are the 50 inch bars, but we have a lot of other ones. You can go down to 44 inch bars, or you can go all the way up to 78 inch bars, and there is a couple different stops in between. I always like bringing my bike with me, so having that up on the roof is always a plus. Just gives me something to do whenever I'm bored and out on the trails. Another thing I like to do, if there's water where I'm going, I always like to bring my kayak so you can get it like a little wraparound pad like this and majority of them if not all of them will fit and the nice thing about this if you have a fishing kayak the bars are so heavy duty to where you can put a little pad like this and get your really heavy fishing kayaks up and to wherever you want to go now we got the stuff on top we have the bike with it so now we're pretty much ready to do whatever whether we want a bike or up around we have everything up on our roof and it's ready to rip one thing i wish i would have done is grabbed longer bars i only have about a couple inches beyond here and i can't really put anything else on there if i did go with something a little bit bigger i'd love to put a awning on the side just because if i'm doing either of these i'm gonna get hot and it's nice to get out of the shade so our feet are gonna do a lot of different things for us. One, it is going to protect our raised side rails. If you have raised side rails, these are the feet that you are gonna get with your kit because that's the only foot that's gonna work with the HD bars and your raised side rails. It is made of a durable construction which isn't going to fade away over time. It's gonna work well if it is gonna be on your roof for a long extended period of time. One thing about this, you don't see any locking cores, but I think that's totally fine. I wouldn't be really worried about it getting stolen just because the tool that comes with it is not just your basic Allen key. It has a little indention on the inside. And as you can see, the same exact thing with our bolt head. So if someone has this specific Allen key, then they might be able to take it, but I really have not come across this any other place besides on these types of roof racks. So I think it's gonna stay nice and secured there and there is no need for locks. First thing you wanna do is familiarize yourself with the foot kit. These are gonna be for the HD bars only and this is gonna be for your raised side rails like we have on our RAV4 here. So as you can see, we have a big little plate here and that's gonna slide into the tracks on our bars. But if you look down at the tracks, these are gonna have two different channels. We're gonna have one that's a little deeper, that's gonna be for our little trim on top, and then we're gonna have the shallower end, which is gonna be where our feet are going to install into. I already have one on here. So take this little bolt, and we wanna loosen it up by your hands. Make sure it's just right at the edge there so it can pop up like this. And then we can slide that in, the little track on our bar. And we wanna make sure that the outside's gonna be facing the outside, of course. Line this up and slide it in just like that. You can tighten it up a little bit, but we will have to adjust these a little bit when they get up on our bar. 
And once we have that done, what you should do is kind of pinch these together and then loosen these up to where these are going to be a little bit to the end, kind of like that. And this way, we're going to be able to open up this clamp a little bit wider so it'll sit on our rails a lot easier. So now we're ready to put the bar on our raised rails. See how it just fits in there? So I could have probably opened that up a little bit more, but that is what the tool's for. So if it's doing this, just take your tool and loosen those two bolts that we loosened up earlier. We're just gonna need a little bit more to get it to sit down just like that. Be a good time to get the measuring tape out, make sure it's nice and even on both sides. And then we can take that same tool and as we tighten these up, it's gonna bring in that other clamp, which is gonna secure it down. I like to just kind of do it really lightly for the first amount on both sides, just so it's nice and even. And then you can start really torquing it down to get it secured. We wanna make sure they're both even just like that. And then once it's all secured down, give her a good tug, make sure she's set in place. And we can do that same exact thing on the other side. The cool thing about the tool, it's gonna let you know when it's torqued down properly. So as we start to torque this down, you wanna take this little edge here. And once it starts to go straight, meaning this curve, once we tighten it down, it's going to start to give a little bit and that's going to let us know that it is torqued down to spec. So that's always awesome because half the time you never really know if it's too much or too little. But as you can see, it's straight and that is as tight as we need to go. So you can do that on both sides. And then we can go ahead and take our end cap. So these two little pegs here are gonna go in these little slots. So kind of just line that up. You have to give it a decent amount of force. Kind of just knock it on there just like that. And we are good with the bar. Once you figured out that we have an even amount of overhang on each side, that bolt that's underneath, what we can do is take 14 millimeter socket and tighten that down. Once we have both of our bars secured down and they're nice and tight, we can go ahead and load up our favorite accessories. And that'll do it for a look at the Rhino Rack CXB clamp on feet for your raised side rails and your HD bars.